Bonjour, I'm John Olson. Welcome to Next Stop from French Polynesia. We've just arrived in Tahiti with Alaska Airlines and its code share partner, Air France's nonstop flight from LAX to French Polynesia. Tahiti has 118 islands, far more than we could tackle in a 30 minute show, but we are gonna dive into Morea, Huahini, and world famous Bora Bora. The fun starts now. We're off for a day of adventure on Morea with Albert Tours. All I know is the itinerary said show up at 8.50, get in the truck and have fun. All right, so today we are going on ATV tours. So we're gonna start from Cook's Base. We're gonna ride into Cook's Base and we're gonna use the, this off-road here. So here is the Victoria pineapple. It's smaller. Yeah, it's smaller than the Hawaiian pineapple, but sweeter. Huh? That's the variety that we grow here on this side. So the Victoria is originally come from Brazil and was also introduced here. Huh? All right, so here guys, you can see coffee beans. This is Arabica coffee. So Arabica is one of the best coffee in the world. Yeah, the pineapple in the morning, get your coffee in the yeah. morning, get your morning covered here. Yep. So we're taking a little break here. Carl's off trying to find avocados because apparently there's some pigs up there. Pigs like avocados. Hey, hey piggies. <laughs> oh, that's the guy. <laughs> oh yeah, he's the man. So you have one male for all the females. So he's pretty happy here. Come here, sweetie. Come here, sweetie. Come here. There you go. <laughs> that one really eats like a bear. We are going to go all the way to the top of uh, the mountains over there. It's called the Magic Mountain Lookout Point. So over there we're going to have a 360 degrees lookout. I cannot believe the variety of stuff that we've already seen okay. on this island. All the fruits and the coffee beans and we, you just pulled that up like randomly. Yeah, that's a passion fruits. That's why we call this place paradise. That is yeah. good reason. Yeah. <laughs> and in our country you got to pay for everything. Uh, here no. <laughs> Organic means free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You guys run great tours. We saw a little bit of everything today. We saw pineapple, we saw lime, we saw lychee, we saw pigs. Oh yes, you know, we are we are very lucky. Huh? And yeah. you get to make magic happen for all these visitors yeah. from all over the world. Yeah, yeah. What's, your, what's your favorite thing about your job? Oh, you know, I like to see uh, people. I like to show uh, people how beautiful is my island, you know? And I really like my job, huh? you know, because we have beautiful island and uh, I like to, to show you my island, huh? yeah. Our Morea Hotel is the Intercontinental Resort and Spa, and this place is amazing. It screams Tahiti. When I vision a hotel on Tahiti, this is what I picture. It's actually the biggest property on the island of Morea. Uh, so you have a lot of different areas on the property. It's like a small village a little bit. It is a small village, and you have your own little thatch huts all over the place, right on the water. Exactly, yeah. so you, you have four different categories, the beach bungalow, the overwater bungalow, totally over the water, as well as the standard rooms, of course. Now we stay in a lot of hotels and, and this one is very unique to me. My favorite thing about this property, I can actually swim from your beautiful pool area straight to my room and just crawl up. Oh, 
also have some live entertainment that we're going to check out later on. Dancing, uh, Tahitian show as we can, and you are sitting on the beach uh, with the buffet in your back, of course. Uh, there is a fire, uh, fire dance show. Coming up on Next Stop, we visit the largest archaeological site in the Pacific Ocean. We've just taken a short flight with Air Tahiti from Morea to Huahini. We're with Paul. We're going to talk a story about the largest archaeological site in the entire Pacific Ocean. Well, we're in Maeva village here on Huahine, and as you said, it's the largest archaeological site. It's a huge habitation site and the largest in the Pacific Ocean. And it's an area that spans over a kilometer in width. Uh, it has the densest concentration of sites in, in the South Pacific. Uh, what we're looking at here actually is an altar. And these stones right here are uh, backrests or seats. Well, there's obviously a lot of different vegetation we're seeing as we wander. This uh, happens to be pineapple. And it's kind of interesting, the modern Tahitian language, because the first Europeans that came spoke English and they brought metal, tools, new plants. There's a lot of words in the Tahitian language that actually come from English, like pineapple, pineapple. And as we go up the hill, we'll see vanilla, vanira, or hammer, hamra, or fry pan. Fraipani. <laughs> so the head club was replaced by the fry pan. Fraipani. Right? Fraipani. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is over a kilometer wide and it's just one huge site. So this small area here, this is just a very small portion, five, six, seven percent of what's on this hill. So this area that's kind of cleared back has been restored by Dr. Sinoto and it's called Te Ana, which is the traditional land name. Families li would live in something like it's this. It's really hard to say. This is actually, this terrace we're on here was a house site and there was a rectangular building and actually these stones here correspond where, with uh, where there would have been a wall. So the wall would have been built flush inside and the stone keeps out the mud, the rain, the erosion. This is awesome. Uh, it's probably, well to me, it's the most beautiful marae in Polynesia. Uh, this is just spectacular. That's one thing everybody says when they come to this island is it's so lush and the variation or the variety of vegetation is mind-boggling. It really is. What you see here are eight backrests. So as we said, huh, there were eight royal lines and there's eight backrests. So this would be the first sun? You said I got to be the first sun. And you get to sit here. Okay. This is my... And then you've got the altar ahead of you or in front of you with this incredible banyan tree. What a great tour. This is such a pleasant surprise here. The largest archeological site in the entire Pacific, right here. Well, Tahiti. John, it's still very much a hidden treasure. I mean, even people that have grown up in Tahiti aren't really aware of the fact that these sites are here on Huahine. This place puts a big smile on my face. Maruru. Maruru. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. Most of us have very stressed out lives, especially if you live in the hustle bustle of a city. Well, if you want to come and really chill out, come to Huahini and come to the Te Tiara Resort. This place is so chill and beautiful, Rudy. Thanks for having us. Well, pleasure to have you guys uh, on board here. And uh, really, you want to feature Huahini and the people. This island is, is magical. It's not like Bora Bora Marea, where there's a lot of business and entertainment and things like that. The people that enjoy this place, you mentioned it, John. It's the quietness, it's the, the tranquility. We have uh, uh, coral and fish here on our overwater bungalows, below them actually, <laughs> that uh, you can't find in any other part of the island. Now, you built this place, right? This was your inspiration. What inspired you to build a property like this so kind of tucked away? You have to get here by boat. You can't even get here by car. 
This was all jungle, John. Just total jungle. You could barely land here. This beach was natural, which was one of the things I liked about it. Your property gets you back to just this peace and serenity, and I love the gardens, and your staff is wonderful. So thank you very much for having us here. Well, enjoy it while you're How here. How can we not? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Coming up on Next Stop, we feed the fish on Huahini. The word tattoo originated in Tahiti. The legend of Tohu, the god of tattoo, describes painting the ocean's fish in beautiful colors and patterns. In Polynesian culture, tattoos have long been considered a sign of beauty, and in earlier times were ceremoniously applied when reaching adolescence. And speaking of youth, over half of the population of 200,000 in Tahiti is under the age of 20. We're kicking off our day of play on Huahini with lunch on the beach and jet skis. Right on. We made the place. We've got a plate. And I didn't help at all. <laughs> this is the Uru and Tahiti. Uru. 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 Breadfruit. Breadfruit. It's like a big giant glob of bread. Wow, that smells good. Just push. Okay, you push now. Oh, they need the coconut shavings. Tuna, the fish. Lime, some limes. Salt. Some salt. You cook the, the fish. I'm gonna guess you're gonna squeeze that and get the milk out of you it. You squeeze it. I'm gonna squeeze it. Yeah. Look at that. This. That's fine. Okay. So if you guys want some raw fish, just call John, the chief. Mmm. Mm. We had a killer lunch. Yeah. Maruru. Maruru. Now it's time for the uh, the action. Jet ski. All right. Rock and roll, huh? Do your thing, brother. Okay. So this is the map. This is Uwahine. That's where we are. Actually, there's two islands. So we got the big island that we call Huahine Nui. Nui means big in Tahitian, huh? And Huahine Iti on your on the right side. That Huahine Iti Iti means small. Okay. So we're gonna pass under the bridge that separate the two islands, and then we're gonna go all the way to the east side and go back to the north to see the pearl farm. Tahitian pearls are famous all over the world. Well, as we're riding our jet skis around the water, I see this little like hut or house just like sitting in the middle of the water. It's a pearl farm. Tell yeah. us about Tahitian pearls. Yes, we start with a little explanation. First thing, the oyster who gives the Tahitian pearl, we call the oyster the Pinktada margaritifera. It's a long name, but this is the one who lives here in French Polynesia. After we take the pearl out, 24 months after, and if it's really nice, it means we have a good greffon and a good host oyster. We can try again with the same oyster to get second pearl. And you have one on your yeah, neck right now. Yeah, a bit champagne. That's nice. I like that color. That's beautiful. They're sold all over the world. <laughs> The jet skis were awesome! Now it's time to feed some fish. Lots of fish. Permission to come aboard, Captain Stubing. We had a fantastic day here on Huahini. Mark and his staff of Huahini Nautic, they're awesome. You guys gotta check this out. I'm gonna go back and feed the fish.
Coming up on Next Stop, we island hop to world famous Bora Bora. With Alaska Airlines' award-winning mileage program and its multiple partners, you can travel pretty much anywhere you want to go in the world. We connected through LAX on Air France's nonstop flight to Tahiti. Air France serves over 200 worldwide destinations and has exemplary service. You can use your miles to book travel in Alaska Airlines and its partners, or use your Alaska Airlines Visa Signature Card to purchase a ticket and earn miles while you fly. And don't forget to bring your Alaska Airlines Visa Signature Card on vacation, earn miles while you play. For more information on Alaska Airlines and its worldwide partners, visit alaskaair.com. Bloody Mary's located on Bora Bora is one of the most famous establishments in all of Tahiti. Tonight for Next Stop, they brought in some live music and fresh catch of the day. It takes a lot to keep a bar around and a restaurant around for 30 years, much less on an island as isolated as Tahiti, but these guys have done it at Bloody Mary's. The secret of Bloody Mary's is very, very simple. I mean, try to have your ambiance, keep the fish fresh, the beer cold. Try to charge a reasonable price, because it's an expensive destination. Well, you also have some amazing staff around. I saw Olivia giving the rundown of the, uh, the fresh catch of the day coming in. That's pretty cool. Olivia's only been with us about a dozen years. Come on, she speaks five languages. Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, French, English, things like this. And she's prettier than I. There's so many choices. I don't even know where to start. Okay, everything is grilled, just right there. Teriyaki beef and a shrimp kebab. Ooh. Crab, cooked with a garlic cream sauce. And also you can have lobster, cut in the middle and a grill on a barbecue. And my favorite fish is a swordfish, broad bill, deep, deep water really tender, and the waffle, you know. This morning, my buddy Rudy now, my new friend Rudy on Tuahini <laughs> said, you gotta go to Bloody Mary's and say hi to Rick. That's, it's, it's famous all over the, the place. The word of mouth is the best. There's nothing quite like it. We've stayed in some gorgeous properties here on Tahiti, and the Sofitel on Bora Bora is no exception. You know, most of the hotels are on Motu, so you need to take a shuttle to go to the islands or to go out from the islands. But here we're on the mainland. Mainland means that guests can go out easily sure. for shopping, for a tour, for walking, for jogging. The bungalows look like they should just blow away in the wind, mm. but they're very sturdy. Yeah. What are they? What are they made of, and how do the roofs stay on? The roofs are made with uh, vegetal and we call it the pandanus. It means that when you're living on the island of Bora Bora, every hotel is, uh, it's got the same roof, same roof, vegetal roof. Great My feeling. favorite thing is, is the glass bottom. In the the glass bottom, yes. You can literally ride and paddle your canoe right underneath your own room. Well, I want to thank you very much for having us it's here. It's a pleasure. We love your property. We're going to yes. go hang out and enjoy the rest of our time. And don't forget to look at the show. Oh, of course. It's a yes, pleasure. Cool. It's 9 o'clock in the morning on Bora Bora, and it's shark feeding time. It's time to feed the sharks. My question is, as they swarm around right now, what are we feeding them? Morona. Yeah. I've never fed the sharks before. This is a new experience for me. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you first laugh time. like that. What's... We the first people. You know, come, I mean, first time for the people. Come do we, for this, yeah. Do we stay on the boat or do we go inside the water? We go inside the water with them. Look we how do? Good. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sharks are surrounding the boat right now. There's hundreds of them. There's big manta rays right below my feet and tons of butterfish right here. Cool. Okay, so we fed the sharks, we fed the fish, and now we're feeding the stingrays. Wow. We have to feed from the eyes. See the eyes here? Yeah. The hole? Look. Okay. They eat it through their yeah. eyes? Yeah, but if you put from the from the from the mouth, they're gonna get them uh, your head, but they don't have teeth, they have only like a hard gum. Yeah, from the eyes, see? Look. Up. Here we go. Okay, watch this. Suck. <laughs> Suck it in through their eyes.
Well, the fish got fed, so now it's our turn. All right, baby. Another near-perfect day on Tahiti. When you come to Bora Bora, make sure to hook up with my new buddy, Morona. He'll help you make amazing memories like he did for us today. Moruru for tuning in to Next Stop from Tahiti, a gorgeous country rich with culture and activities and the people so warm and inviting. Merci beaucoup to our Tahiti show sponsors, Air France, and Jonathan and his staff at Tahiti Tourism for putting together an awesome itinerary. Also thanks to our title sponsors and good friends, Alaska Airlines and the Alaska Airlines Visa Signature Card. Next Stop, where will we take you next? Make good memories, everybody. Here is the pineapple plantations. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it works, that works better without the brake on? Is that how it works? Okay. No way! I lost this card in Maui and I'm all the way in Tahiti and wow, I found it, Susan.